Hello everybody, I am Ardhendu De. You are watching ADC English Literature. Today, I am going to read a section of Indian English. Notably, I am going to discuss Sami Vivekananda, his writing and his sermons. Sami Vivekananda is the vastness of India. In fact, if we try to read Sami Vivekananda's works, writings in a short framework of little bit of half an hour lecture it is quite impossible but for a literary student understanding Swami Vivekananda and his writings is a must because the Indianness or the very ethics and the very fabrics of what is called the culture and tradition of India is never get its full explanation in other writings except Swami Vivekananda's vastness of kaleidoscopic show of Indianness. I mean to say that if you are trying to grasp a kind of literature where a totality of essays or literatures that are figuratively discussing spirituality as well as the ethics of Indianness is best possibly shown in the writings of Swami Vivekananda. The world is now such fabricated, such divided, such fractured by the narrow principles of religion, narrow principles of color, creed and obviously the teachings of Swami Vivekananda will make this world united. It is equally important for us to get the very teaching of Swami Vivekananda irrespective of our religion, irrespective of our culture, irrespective of our ethnic identity. It is very important for us to reach Swami Vivekananda and to get the perfect meaning of his words and teachings. So in this video lecture, I will deliver his writings and how they carry importance. It will be a pleasing because I am going to my laptop screen and making a voiceover of my lecture and obviously in editing work there is a little bit of picture that I have collected from internet. So proceed to my laptop screen. If you want to know India, study Vivekananda. In him everything is positive and nothing negative. This is the famous quote by Rabindranath Tagore on Sami Vivekananda. Rightly says Tagore, Sami Vivekananda is the very spirit of youth and dream. The dream of India, the youth of India. His exemplary and distinguished life impacted considerably on the entire flow and direction of our cultural formation during a crucial time of our national awakening. Born and raised in an upper class Kayastha family in Kolkata, Narendranath Dotto, as he was then known, was a brilliant student. He completed his studies at the famous Presidency College and Scottish Church College. In a few days he became a westernized Indian. But by the dramatic influence of Sri Ramakrishna, he became an young man who was destined to change the future of India through learning, piety and dynamism. After his Guru's death, Swami Vivekananda founded Ramakrishna Mission to cement the goal of mass awakening. We will now study his far-reaching and profound message through his works. The published writing and speeches of Swami Vivekananda cover nearly 4,000 pages. There are plenty of lectures, discourses, interviews, answers to questions, inspired talks, conversations, writings, letters, poems, translation works, and etc. Sami Vivekananda was 
an inspired seer born with a mission as such everything that is shoot from his lips or pain has blip significance and it is difficult to decide which to choose and which to leave out among his lectures address at the parliament of religion the mission of the vedanta the future of india christ the messenger my master thoughts on the gita lord buddha are notable among his writings india the land of religion in defense of hinduism modern india memories of european travels the east and the west are notably important ladies and gentlemen welcome to the annual session of the opening day today the 11th of september 1893 we now introduce you to swami vivekananda from india and request him to address us swami vivekananda sisters and brothers of america It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of the millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who referring to the delegates from the orient have told you that these men from far off nations may well claim the honor of bearing to different lands the idea of toleration i am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance we believe not only in universal toleration but we accept all religions as true Sam Vivekananda's address at the World's Parliament of Religions at Chicago in 1983 that brings him international fame. His famous address is a declaration of the eternal truth enshrined in the Vedic hands, ancient scriptures and the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita is the very summary of his speech. It is the proclamation of his unclinching faith in the greatness of Hinduism. It is the assertion of his pride in Indian nationalism embedded in eclecticism and steeped in tolerance. He quotes from the Gita, Whosoever comes to me through whatsoever form, I reach him. All men are struggling through paths which in the end lead to me. Swami Vivekananda also speaks in very clear terms that sectarianism, bigotry and its horrible descendants, fanaticism, have long possessed this beautiful art. They have filled the art with violence drenched in often and often with blood, human blood of course, destroyed civilization, sent whole nations to despair. Had it not been for these horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. He hopes that a universal tolerance will come in rescue and universal motherhood would prevail in earth. Addressing the young men of Madras, now Chennai, Swami Vivekananda makes an appeal to all the young men of India in general to respond to the call of their nation and rouse themselves and embark upon the sacred task of entering into the life of every race in India and abroad and revive the glorious past of India by reawakening the conscience of the people drowsing in the stupor of inaction caused by ignorance. He laid trace on religion and culture, on spirituality, on purification of heart, on eradication of evil and of good conduct. 
द सिक्रेट अफ वार इज अ लार्नेड डिसकोर्स अफ स्वामी विवेकानंद इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फिलोजफी अफ द भागवत गीता स्वामीजी हैड टक्ट अफ दि शख जोगा एंड कर्म जोगा एज इलिसिडिएटेड इन द गीता इन द फर्म अफ लर्ड कृष्णा अर्जुना डिसकोर्स स्वामीजी हेज लेड ट्रेस ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल नलेज ही हेज एक्सटोल्ड निष्कर्म कर्म जोगा सेल्फलेस सार्विस स्वामी विवेकानंद इन एवरी अफ हिज वार्कस स्पीक्स अफ दि स्पिरिचुअल यूनिकनेस अफ इंडिया एंड दि ग्रेटनेस अफ हिंदुसुम बाट इ स्पीक्स इवेन मोर फोर्सफुली अबाउट द कारेंट डिग्रेडेशन अफ इंडिया इट्स कजेज एंड किर हिज लैंगुएज हेज एन एस्ट्रोनिशिंग मडार्निटी अबाउट इट द इडियम इज सो फ्रेश इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू बिलीव दैट हि स्पीक्स ए हंड्रेड इयार्स एगो हि यूज ए सीम्पल डिक्शन एंड शर्ट सेंटेंसेस हिज imagery is taken from day to day life not art or from literature here is a passage from a speech condemning hindu insularity our religion is in the kitchen our god is in the cooking pot and our religion is don't touch me i am holy let's take another example from his poem to illustrate his lucid language It is beauty never seen and love that stands alone it is song that lives unsung and knowledge never known Sami Vivekananda's years on this earth may have been few but they were fact and eventful He inspired millions of Indians with a new sense of self respect and self esteem He helped to lay the foundations of a new india that would not only be an independent nation but a world leader we saw india as a vast storehouse and reservoir of spirituality it was by this force that india would rise and make her contribution to the rest of the world it was this message of samiji's in his writings and speeches the power and majesty of his personality and the work he did in establishing the ram krishna mission that he is seen as a contributor to the building of modern rising india hi friends to know our sami ji better just focus your studies on his address at world's parliament of religions at chicago where he summarizes the essence of india and its spiritual powers the doctrine of gita and power of love and humanity the next notable work that i would prefer the future of india in this my personal favorite book where he defines our glorious past advocates religious tolerance and visualizes our hidden power in self control and spirituality If you like this post like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye